Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're looking at my Phalaenopsis purple martin. This is a cross between Kenneth Schubert and Violacea. And if I remember correctly, this is a cross created back in the late 1980s, maybe 1989. I've had this orchid for about, gosh, four, almost five years now, maybe a little longer. And this has always been a relatively reliable bloomer and rebloomer. It definitely has the sequential blooming capability, and I suspect that comes from the Violacea uh, parentage. It also has really light fragrance. It's not super strong, but if you put your nose close to the flowers, you would be able to detect a little bit of sweet fragrance to it. Also, another really interesting aspect of this orchid is the petal when under strong lights or sunshine, it actually has that gl glittering, shimmering effect, which I love. This orchid this time around, oh, by the way, you're looking at follow-up photos of this orchid's last bloom cycle. And later in the video, you'll see this orchid's current bloom performance as well as the, um, the double spike blooms. Last year, this orchid kept blooming for almost five and a half months. Um, it, you know, I made a video about this orchid last year, and then after that video, it just continued to put out more and more blooms. So, and so, so the bloom cycle, the bloom, bloom period is almost six months, which was very surprising to me. Um, but I get all the blooms I, I, I'll get all the blooms I can get, right? Um, so this orchid is a really rewarding and low maintenance orchid. I haven't really done anything too special to it other than I might have done a repot of this orchid last year and that was it. Um, this orchid also only received 25% fertilizer and quarter cup of water each time and that's it and the rest really is autopilot. <laughs> Um, in terms of location of this orchid, it's currently in between, well, at the corner of my east-facing and south-facing uh, window sill. So it's that joint corner of my east and south-facing windows, and it's right in the in the middle. So this orchid does get a little bit more uh, light from the morning as uh, up until you know mid to late afternoon. Now, if you look at the photo here. The last bloom of this orchid from last bloom cycle, <laughs> the top petal is not, it's so pointy. It's, it didn't grow, fully grow to, to, to become how it's supposed to be. Um, but, you know, it's still interesting. And if you look at the color contrast there, you know, the newest bloom, the fresher blooms always would have darker color. And then as time goes on, it, the color would just kind of fade slightly until the blue is almost like gray. <laughs> I can't remember where I got this orchid from. Might have been Louisiana Orchid Connection. Um, but for some reason, in the US, this classic orchid cross isn't readily available always. Uh, I've seen Norman's Orchid, orchids.com, um, had a couple in stock. I don't know if they still have it. Um, but in Asia, it tends to be easier to find this purple martin and obviously in asia the price tag is a lot smaller too you know i, I i've seen this orchid being sold for just under 10 us dollars and it was a relatively mature plant with lots of leaves and two spikes in bloom now this is still in the um double cup method and inner cup has drainage holes at the bottom as you can see there uh, this orchid really likes water, and I suspect it's because, you know, it's thicker roots as well as a relatively established healthy root system that um, whenever I give this orchid quarter cup, usually around the fifth day, 
it, it's pretty much bone dry. And of course, you know, I do my watering every seven days, so I typically let it be dry for the sixth day, and end of you know fifth day, sixth day, and then wait until the seventh day to give this orchid water when I water all other orchids as well. Last, last year, I also used a twist tie to stabilize the spike because otherwise it would just be dangling too much and I'm, I was afraid that I would break the spike if I moved this orchid around. Coming up here, the segment is about a comparison between Purple Martin and Yang Yang Blueberry. Yang Yang Blueberry also has Violacea indigo in its parentage. So last year, they also had a little bit of um, bloom overlap. So I just put them side by side to give you a sense of how their colors compare against one another. These two are both fragrant. Yang Yang Blueberry's fragrance is a lot stronger and is a lot closer to the smell of Violacea, that spiciness. And Purple Martin is more mild and sweeter. Compared to Yang Yang Blueberry, Purple Martin is much easier to take care of. For some reason, Yang Yang Blueberry's roots seems to be, I guess, you know, liking water, but not as much as Purple Martin's roots because it, the same amount quarter cup, uh, Purple Martin always would kind of soak up really quickly, but then Yang Yang Blueberry kind of is like, you know, waiting. And usually on the sixth day, I can still kind of see some water moisture within the, uh, the container of Yang Yang Blueberry. Now here is the segment on this Purple Martin's current bloom cycle and this time around it's giving me double spike again um, so it, it, there seems to be a pattern one year it would do it would give me one long spike and then another year it would give me double spike and then I'm guessing next year it'll be another one single really long spike we'll see if that is the case next time but this time around uh, because it's double spike and also at the beginning of its bloom cycle it always would produce multiple buds and bloom with multiple you know, give me multiple blooms from the beginning at the beginning and then gradually as this orchid continue to you know elongate the spike uh, the bloom count would become smaller and then continue to give me sequential blooms you know sometimes one flower sometimes two flowers um, but it kind of dies, dies down like that um, but still, I mean, slowly and steady, this orchid always gives me lots of bloom um, over the course of, you know, four, five, six months. So I really enjoy it. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!